Okay guys, so we're finally actually going to test out our notifications in this video. So first of all, some three little things that I forgot to mention in, in your .env file. Remember to change your broadcast driver to pusher because by default it's set to log. But remember to change it to pusher. So pusher is gonna work because this right here, if you check in your or oh, broadcast.php broadcasting.php file you discover that the default is a no but it's gonna pick the broadcast driver from the that env file which is already set to pusher right here so remember to also set your pusher id app key and the secret and also remember to set up your mail trap and remember also in your bootstrap.js pusher should be set up with the key okay so let's go ahead and try this out hopefully it's gonna work okay so let's go to my profile if I refresh right there, my I'm authenticated. And uh, let's go ahead to Emily's profile. If I refresh, Emily is also authenticated by Pusher. So if we look at our Pusher console, we discover that just right now, just right now, we've been authenticated. So about so I've been authenticated, and also Emily has been authenticated. So what we're gonna do is actually have Emily send me a friend request right here and once emily sends that friend request we should be able to see a notification as we defined in our notification dot view we should actually see a notification alert and it should console dot log the notification that was sent by pusher so let's go ahead and try that out so this is emily's profile i'll click the add friend button and it's loading okay looks like that was su successful and right here we see a new notification alert we click OK and we discover that the payload or the request data, it has been logged to our console. So Emily sends you a friend request and the name of the sender is Emily Myers and right here we also have the type. If we go to our pusher.log console, we discover that we have a new request right here. That is the data sent in the request. So our broadcast driver is working as expected. So what about our mail driver? If we discover in real time, we have a new friend request message a few seconds ago right here. So. If you look at that message, it says, hello, and you received a new friend request from, remember, we concatenated the name of the user who sent the request. So from Emily's, from Emily Myers. So thank you for using our social network and view profile. So if we click on this button, we should actually see Emily Myers profile and we should be able to accept the friend request. Okay. So now in our database, if we go ahead and refresh our notifications table, we discover that we have a new request that has been saved to our database. So right here, we discover that the data that has been stored in the database is the name and the message. So Emily Myers and LMS send your friend request. Okay, so our notifications are working as expected. Now in the next video, we're going to actually create another notification for the accept friend request, which is gonna be sent.